I, they're very inspirational. Mm-hmm. They really are. Um, all of these kids have so many things going on. They're an, about half of them are also members of the 7th Street Superstars. And so on the days that we have meetings, they actually have superstars starting in the morning at 9 o'clock. They immediately come out of that and go straight into an intern board meeting. So, And oftentimes they will have a show either here at our theater or maybe at one of their schools. So a lot of times they're heading straight from our meeting to go to do live theater to perform somewhere. The lights are on, the curtain's up. This is Steps to the Stage. Hello and welcome to Steps to the Stage, the 7th Street Theater podcast where we talk with the community theater professionals you know and love. I'm your host, Colin P., and today we are talking about the CCCT Intern Board. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Sochi, and I'm the newest of the leaders of the Intern Board. (laughs) I'm Elizabeth. I'm also an Intern Board leader. And I'm Stacy Colby, one of the intern leaders. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I actually don't know that much about the intern board and the program, so why don't we start off by walking us through sort of what it is that you do? Well, we really um, try to train some of the teenagers. It's a program for 7th through 12th or 11th graders, and we train them um, – on the production side of theater. So they put on events, they plan social media and publicity. I also kind of think of the intern board as kind of like the student government mm-hmm. of, of community theater. So they're the student leaders of our theater. Yeah, I agree with you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the student leaders, um, the newer... I guess the the ones that have the newer the newest opportunity to be a part of, not just on the stage, mm-hmm. um, but behind the stage. So it's, um, yeah, it's giving all of the kids a different opportunity yeah. to see Would, all sides of the theater, basically. Yeah. Would any of you happen to know how this program came about initially, or? <laughs> I, I believe that Debbie Barbin. Mm-hmm got this program started, but I am not 100% sure mm, about that, yeah. so we should probably check that out. Mm. Yeah. I think Jesse, Jesse? Jesse mm. Pyle started it, and then maybe with Debbie's help, I think, um, but I think it was mm-hmm. Jesse that started it, and then with Isaiah. Isaiah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I think they were the one, I believe that that, that might be. I think you're right. I think, I think you're right. Yeah. Would each of you mind talking a little bit more about what your role is in this program and sort of how how you help the kids along and sort of what as like a leader of the leaders almost? Yeah, I think we're really just kind of the coordinators. Mm-hmm. And so the goal is really to have the the kids, the teens, be the ones who are driving uh, – or who are driving the intern board mm-hmm. um, gives us we we take the opportunity to kind of guide them in how to how to be a leader. Um, so even from the interview process, we just try to really relate it to the things that they're going to need in leadership roles, whether at the theater or anywhere else in the rest of their life, from the time of their interviews, from organizing to running meetings. Um, in how to lead a group, how to motivate people. Uh, those are the kinds of things that we really focus on helping them with so that then they can lead the other kids in the theater. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to agree with that. And then also just because this is my first season, so this last interview process was my first experience with it. Um listening to their answers to questions that we were asking. We did a group interview, um, how they work together as a team. But as Elizabeth said, we are there to not tell them what to do, but to guide them if they get stuck with the problem. Mm -hmm. Um, But they're pretty amazing kids, and they they kind of already have that leadership skill built into them, and that's to kind of show them how to – be positive leaders and to just grow from that, to, to continue to be amazing leaders and to collaborate together. Time management is going to be um, big to teach them how to do that because so many of them are involved in so many things, how to make whatever it is that they've chosen to do, each thing make sure that it's a priority, that they can manage it all. I think that's going to be the biggest this year. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I agree. 
<laughs> Would each of you mind talking about how you came into these roles on the intern board? Well, I came into the intern board during COVID. So Miss uh, Debbie Barbin, our president, was leading the intern board at the time, and she asked the um, EAC if we if anybody wanted to help out. And so I thought, sure, I'll help out. And then the next thing I know, the next year, I was in charge of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works around here. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So um, for the past three years, I've been doing it, um, not, not by myself, but with um, various uh, leaders and Elizabeth and Sochi are my amazing teammates now. So, yeah, it's that from there it's history. Yeah, this is my second year to work with the intern board. Um, so, yeah, still really excited about it. We every year there's different kinds of projects, different kinds of focuses, and um, I really enjoy all of it. They're all really great kids that, who have done a lot of stuff in the theater. They know the ins and the outs of the theater way better than we do. So Absolutely. it's really. It's really great to give them the platform to to lead because they are already naturally leaders within within our theater. I agree. Um, this is my first year with the intern board. I was asked at the end of last year when one of our amazing leaders um, had to step down um, if I would do it. And again, I will say yes to it. I will fit it somehow, <laughs> part of the time management. So yes, I to get to work with two amazing um, people like Elizabeth and Stacy. I absolutely, I'm here to learn just as much as the the kids are. So I'm awesome. I'm and super excited. And it's awesome opportunity. Uh, how often would you say that you, as the intern board, sort of interact with the um, bigger board here at the community theater? Is that really sort of part of your job more than it is with the students? I think we're kind of a liaison, mm -hmm. but we do have try to give them opportunities where they have things to present to the board, um, just to give them that opportunity to speak and um, in a leadership role. We also have them uh, submit proposals to the EAC, whether that means somebody comes in person, sometimes logistically for uh, for all of the schedules, that that's not really uh, easy, but we do have them present proposals when they have something that they want to present to the board. I don't have anything since <laughs> this is my first year, so I don't know how it all works. I'm just learning. I'm here for the ride. <laughs> uh, would you would you go through what each uh, seat on the board is, like what each pos position a student can have? Yeah, so um, this year we have two student leaders mm -hmm. of the group of student leaders. Hmm. So Natalia Tower and Rebecca Cisneros are, uh, they are both 11th graders. And so this will probably be their last year to be on the intern board. Mm -hmm. And so they are the leaders of the leaders. Mm -hmm. And then we have, we don't really have officers because they all take on so many different roles. Um, during the course of the year for different projects, they form committees for working on different aspects of things. And then those committees may have some leadership that they take on. Uh, so part of what the intern board does as like its big thing are the season reveals, yes? That's probably our biggest yes. event that we plan. Mm -hmm. So they plan all the logistics of it. They plan the um, the decor, the mm -hmm. food, the... Um, the schedule, if there's um, speakers, they coordinate with directors who are going to be presenting their new shows and also the former show, the years from the, excuse me, the shows from the year um, that are going to be presented with our Bernie Awards. Mm -hmm. uh, so they really put on the whole event. They also get to perform at mm -hmm. the season mm -hmm. reveal, which is definitely a, a perk for a lot of them. They really <laughs> enjoy that. So they get to be the first ones who know what our season is, and then they have to keep that under wraps while also working with the directors to perform a scene or a song or something like that from the show. So that's a big thing for the intern board to do, but that's just one of our events. Yeah. Uh, what other events do you guys work on? We also put on a teen summit mm -hmm. every um, at the beginning of every summer. And this is an event that they also plan all um, components of it, but it is to try to get the teens together to give their ideas for the theater from 
what kind of shows they would like to see the uh, theater put on to special events, classes. And so we gather all the teen input and then um, the leaders will present it to the EAC. Anything to add to that, Elizabeth? Yeah. they um, Also, it kind of depends on what is going on. A couple of years ago, they decided that one of their goals was to renovate or redecorate the green room here at the theater. Mm. So the intern board with their intrepid leaders at the time took on that project. They cleaned it. They reorganized it. They painted it new shades of green uh, for the green room. And they did a lot with kind of streamlining some of our decor and made it a nicer, cleaner space. So that was one of the big goals that they had a couple of years ago. That carried through. We finished that up last year. And um, then this year, they'll also be taking on a role within our celebrations of our 40th anniversary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're not totally sure what that's going to look like okay. as far as the uh, <laughs> yeah. as far as the intern board's participation yet, but they're definitely going to be involved with um, probably some of the logistics and setup and all of those kinds of fun things. Yeah. Would you mind uh, talking a little bit deeper into what it was like putting on this past season reveal? We start preparing a few months in advance, mm-hmm. you know, to try to coordinate everything. Um, like Elizabeth said before, the kids are put into committees, so. They um, really work in small groups to plan each component. And then the day of the big reveal, we have a day-long preparation, decor, setup, rehearsal, food. Uh, food. This last year, we were just really pleased. We um, had so much positive feedback after it was over. And the interns, they really do it all. We just facilitate their ideas and what they want to do. Um, but they're just a real amazing group of teens. Yeah. They really are. It's so fun to watch them. I remember they were setting up the uh, the step and repeat. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you what, I don't think any of us knew how to set that thing up. But <laughs> a couple of those interns had it out. They knew how to assemble that thing because, again, they've done it several times at this point. Yeah, I got to be a part of that this last year. Um, I was just coming into that position. And they get told they obviously have this event that they get to plan. And they're planning... Everything minus the food and like the big rehearsal things because they're not even told what the shows are going to be until later on. So they're starting the planning process and then, but they don't know what they're planning for, like what the reveal is actually going to be or or what's going to be revealed. And the fact that they were able to come up with something that was like neutral and that it worked perfectly for what was going to happen was pretty impressive and how they just make it work. They just all work together so well. You, all three of you are fairly new to working in this program, yes? Like Yes. In the intern board? Yes, on the intern board program. Yes. Would you mind yeah. talking about that experience, sort of coming into this and sort of figuring it out on your own, much like the, the kids do every year? I, I think we take the cue from the kids mm. because yeah. they know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, they all have a really good pulse on everything that's happening in the theater. And so I think a lot of our job is really to kind of just organize to keep out of their way and let them do the, yes. let them do the work. Yeah. We learn from them. Okay. Really, some of them have been on intern board longer than we've been asked to be a part of the intern board <laughs> ourselves. Like we were just parents and now those kids are leading their peers, but also leading us in what we should be assisting and not assisting with. So it's, Yeah. yeah. I, they're very inspirational. Mm-hmm. They really are. Um, all of these kids have so many things going on. They're uh, about half of them are also members of the Seventh Street Superstars, and so on the days that we have meetings, they actually have superstars starting in the morning at nine o'clock. They immediately come out of that and go straight into an intern board meeting. So, and oftentimes they will have a show either here at our theater or maybe at one of their schools. So a lot of times they're heading straight from our meeting to go to do live theater to perform somewhere. So these are busy, active kids who have a lot of stuff going on. They all have very busy lives academically. A lot of them are very challenged. So um, they're 
they're very involved and with their school, there's, there's, they're involved in a ton of things. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it's like having to sort of manage and <laughs> deal with all of these very busy schedules and very busy people to coordinate? It is a lot to coordinate and our theater is very busy. So plotting the calendar is a tricky, uh, tricky task that uh, Elizabeth takes on. But um, we do set a schedule for the year ahead of time and um, ask the kids to commit to those dates and then, you know, try to work around our their schedules and our schedules and planning any extra things that come up. Yeah, they um, they have to be committed to being involved. They have to be committed to being here for events, being for here for meetings. Uh, obviously, you know, there's times that they have other commitments that get in the way, but they also all make it a priority. So uh, they're very committed. They love to be involved. They're the kids who want to be here all the time living mm -hmm. at the theater. Mm -hmm. So it's not too hard to get them to be, to get them to be involved. Yeah. Sure. It's, it helps that us three as well, our children are involved in other things outside of our theater for the most part, um, that when we are planning a calendar, we could say, oh, well, this school might be having this or like to take it into consideration that we're very flexible with them just as they are with us. But to be upfront as, and be committed when they've agreed to something as best as they can. But it helps that we're also involved in other things that they're involved in. So, Would you mind sort of walking us through what like a typical meeting with the intern board would be like on a average day? Well, we all... We try to, you know, have an icebreaker and, you know, some fun theater trivia or something. I always like to bake treats, so that's, a, you know, food at a meeting is always important. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they look but, forward to it. I think they like that better than, the, than what's actually <laughs> happening in the meeting. <laughs> but they, we, um, depending on what time of year it is, we might be um, planning for a specific event or planning social media. Today actually is going to be our first meeting with the new intern board. So we'll be going over a lot of logistics and kind of taking a look at what the whole year will look like, getting to know each other as a group. So, because we are split this year, half of half returning interns, half brand new interns. So we're excited for a, this is going to be a really great group of kids. We're so excited to see what they can do. Yeah. Yeah. We also, I think, kind of our goal for today really is to see what their goals are. Mm -hmm. What do they want to see happen this year? Um, you know, that's how some of these special projects come about. That's how some of the special events come about. Um, when we have the Teen Summit, a lot of those ideas from the broader group of kids who participate in our shows and in our programming, they give input. And then I see that echoed back by our interns into, hey, what are your priorities for the year? So they definitely help shape what those priorities are and what kind of things outside of just our regular, uh, our regular series of events that they want to see happen. They also take a big role in the social media of the theater. And so that's, that's always a big part of each of our meetings is planning out some different social media um, whether that's going to be reels that they're doing or TikToks that they're doing or ideas for lives that they're doing, uh, they plan those out as well. Great. Well, uh, thank you so much for uh, sitting down and talking with us today. This has been this has been really nice. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Steps to the Stage. And now it's time for the curtain call. You can follow us on Spotify, Apple. Google, or any podcasting platform. We have videos up on YouTube, and you can visit our website at stepstothestage.buzzsprout.com. And as always, a special thank you to our audio engineer, Joey Rice, and our producer, Kirk Lane. Without the two of you, this show would not be possible.